What's up guys? I have breaking news about our favorite investment platforms. Now this is not sponsored, but there are many updates on fees, charges, and features that will impact your current investment or perhaps your upcoming investments if you are using any of these three investment platforms. The first one would be BPI UITFs via the newly named BPI Wealth. The second would be our locally developed international stock trading platform called Shari Shari. And the third would be Shari Shari's competition, which is CoTrade. But before going into these details, let me introduce myself. If you are new here, I'm Mark, and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. While we now have so many global investment options here in the Philippines, I think at the end of the day, it's still the S&P 500, which will give us the most stability and the best returns over a long-term period. So if you missed my video on that, you can click the link down below. Anyway, I shared in that video that I invest in the S&P 500 through the three channels I mentioned earlier. Thus, these charges, fees, and new features will definitely impact me. Don't worry, they're mostly actually a good thing. So if you are using any of these three, or perhaps you are considering to use them, do stick around for the rest of the video for you to find out what are these changes. Let's go! So the first of these changes would be for BPI UITFs. I actually have one of my viewers to thank for this. Thank you very much for the heads up on this and I was able to do my further research on it. So anyway, our starting point is the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund, which is tracking the Spider S&P 500 ETF. Now previously, the minimum buy-in for this investment fund was at 50,000 pesos. But now, BPI has lowered this minimum investment to just 1,000 pesos. So it's much, much easier now to buy into this investment on the other hand, if you wanted to use your dollars for this investment fund, the previous buy-in was at $1,000. And now, they have also lowered this to just $100. And aside from lowering these minimums, when you want to top up into your account for additional investments, or perhaps you want to do a partial redemption, you may redeem any partial amount that you want, and you may top up additional units for any amount that you would like to part with. So I actually tried this out. I'm holding on to the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund in the US dollar denomination. It was the only option that I had several years ago. If you want to see those older videos where I still have hair, you can also click the link down below. So I wanted to see if this really works. I invested as little as $1 into my existing BPI US Equity Feeder Fund. And lo and behold, it actually worked. So definitely, BPI is going to be very competitive with new investment platforms and even offering a better value proposition from similar products offered by other banks. Now, would you really want to invest just $1? Well, I have an experiment ongoing with this where I'm investing just $1 into the S&P 500 daily. It's been about a year now, so I also should do a video on that. Anyway, that's aside from today's point. And by the way, these changes to BPI UITFs would actually apply to other BPI global equity funds. So, so let's move on to our second investment option. So for this one, they're not exactly permanent changes. So Shari Shari has given a 20% discount for their cash in fees. They actually did this for the first time during Labor Day on May the 1st. And they also did this on June 12th, the Philippine Independence Day. So what they've done is a tactical sale for one week now, I honestly hope that this was more of a permanent change rather than temporary. If you've watched my previous video on Shari Shari, I guess I criticized them for their high fees, especially when comparing them to their competition. So I'm glad that I guess somehow Shari Shari is listening. Again, this is a step in the right direction. Hopefully, Shari Shari, more sales or just lower fees altogether, please. <laughs> and lastly, we move on to our third investment platform, which is GoTrade. So for GoTrade, there are two major updates, one being good and the other, well, not so much. So let's start with the good news. Several videos ago, I also made a video on GoTrade Black. So GoTrade Black is a premium membership that GoTrade was offering for just $2 per month. GoTrade offered special features that were offered to the public. Specifically, the feature that I like the most is the buy or sell or hold recommendation that GoTrade Black gives. And the good news is, there's no more GoTrade Black. Everyone using GoTrade can now avail of the same features that was at a premium before, 
now completely for free. And let's move on to the not so good points. Uh, well, well, well. Um, unfortunately, guys, GoTrade is increasing their fees and other charges. So let me share these with you one by one. So previously, all stocks, ETFs, and REITs were being traded, bought and sold for free on the GoTrade platform. With the changes, GoTrade is now charging 0.3% for these same investment instruments. Aww. So actually try this out. I had my NVIDIA shares which have gone up in the last few months. Um, if you are also invested in NVIDIA, uh, you know that they're performing quite well. So I wanted to try out how it goes in terms of selling. So you see here that on top of the amount that I wanted to sell, GoTrade is actually getting 10 cents from this trade while previously we were doing this for free. Unfortunately now, this comes at an added cost. For deposits, GoTrade is now charging 55 cents per transaction. Again, previously this was free. For withdrawals, this was previously at $2 every time that you wanted to withdraw your money from GoTrade into your bank account. So this has now unfortunately increased to $5. And lastly, GoTrade was charging 1.2% for the foreign exchange. Now they have also jacked this up to 1.3%. So if you want a breakdown of these charges, these are available via GoTrade. I'll also share the links down below comparing the old document for their fees and the new one. I'll give you two separate links for that. In fairness to GoTrade, they sent out a straightforward email on this to make the announcement. So those are all the updates, new features, new charges from these three main platforms that I mostly use. So what do you think of these changes? Is it swaying you to use one investment channel over the other? How is this impacting your investment strategy and apps that you use? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.